Hey everybody, I'm Bob Baker with Jazz Guitar Today, and um, we're here with Stephen Marchione from Marchione Guitars, and we're going to talk a little bit about Mark Whitfield's model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said that. I just got off the I just got off the phone uh, with or I got off a Zoom call with Mark. Yeah. We just did his interview, which was great, and we uh, we brought his model front and center, and it uh, was really really awesome. cool. And I thought. What a cool idea, but, uh, you know, we, he loves the guitar. It's his favorite guitar. You know, he's, he's big, yeah. big into it. And so it would be a cool idea to get, you know, the creator of this instrument that he loves so much, uh, you know, uh, and talk about for a few minutes. So, yeah, okay. take, take us on a tour of Marchione Guitars. What's going on? Okay, well, us, first thing, uh, on the first floor, which we're not going down to, is where we have the big saws and the giant planers and joiners to uh, mill the wood. This is a three floor studio. So I'm on the second floor. All right. And uh, it's a lot of hand work. There's a whole batch. I've been working on those semi hollows for six months. <laughs> yeah. Um, People here's have. one of my here's one of my modern Spanish guitars. Oh, wow. I'll flip that over. That's gorgeous. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's got some. Can you see? Well, I, I can't see the screen that well. So, oh, no, yeah, no, I, I can see it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, look at that inlay work. That's really pretty. Yep. These are cool. Um, they're semi hollows, but I got some very rare old growth um, Clara walnut, and I did the whole semi hollow on it. On a walnut? Yeah. And it's nice and light, too. It's not heavy. That was old wood. So this is my main workspace. I'll give you oh, a panoramic. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, so here I'm working on fretting. A, Let's see if I can see. Yeah. I'm threading a, a 59 burst for a client. And then here's my archtop and, and classical guitar room. Wow. So here's various arch projects. This is a recreation of Mark's guitar. I still have a lot of work to do on it, but the braces are cut. I, I've got to do some glue up, but this is what they look like. They're super, super carefully tuned and carved. And these plates right now have the perfect tone for, for what you're looking for in a guitar like mm -hmm. Mark's. And here's a couple of classical guitars that I'm French polishing. Wow. So very nice pieces. Yeah, close up of that. And then we could talk about them, kind of what in, went, went into building Mark's guitar. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, you know, you you build incredible pieces of art, um, oh, and they're functional. I know you really do. I, you know, I, we've known each other for a while. I've come always come by your booth yes. at any of the shows, yep. and and I always go, "Wow, oh, this is this is uh, pretty special stuff." As a yep. matter of fact, just kind of off the record, that fifty nine burst thing that you that you do, as um, man, that's a that's a those are super cool. It's my that's favorite a, guitar I'm making right now. It's a sweet sweet axe and. Uh, do you have one of those handy to show people what they look like? Here's one of the, it's more like Mike Moreno's, but it has the wooden bridge and tailpiece. Right. So it's a beautiful arch top top, mm -hmm. uh, you know, quartered spruce. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then these, I've been doing them now with a silver maple back and neck. So it's mm -hmm. all flamey flamey. And these have such a great arch top tone in a very easy to travel with play you know model uh mm -hmm. this guitar weighs less than seven pounds and look at how thin it is i know it, it's uh it's like one and three quarter one and a half what is that that's pretty small oh i'm sorry which part the the dimension the depth is it one and oh, a half? it's an inch but but i'm carving a full arch top plate yeah. back so it's 26 millimeters about an inch yeah from the so the, the shape of the arching is like my arch top guitars. It, because I, I know that works. <laughs> it does the same. Empiricism at work here, right? Yes. <laughs> and so why do we call this a 59? Uh well the 59s are the maple top version. This I just call it semi hollow with a spruce yeah. top. Uh 59s, it's just more of a vibe, yeah. you know, that I get when I think about that year. And what was going on with guitars and i just like to explore artistic projects and get a vibe yeah. going with it and you know feel good about it That's i actually cool. have a sister of that guitar but it has a stop bridge and tailpiece yeah I'm in my in my house and that's what i've been playing at night 
let's talk about uh, Mark Whitfield, how you met him, what inspired you to put all this together, how he met you, um, and then what you did for him that was special. What's, what's different about that guitar? Well, Mark has a great friend in New York, uh, Joel Kipnis, whose stage name was JK. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had been making JK arch tops for years and had really been working on the designs. And, and I had just gotten to this point where I really nailed down the 16 inch guitar. That was 1998. And right then, um, Mark had decided to leave Louisiana and move to New York City. So he came to look for an apartment i believe and jk took him by my studio and said this guy's got to make you a guitar like they're that good and mark and i you know we hit it off i mean all the time he spent in louisiana and me growing up here in texas um we just connected really well and i just spent like a few conversations with him in person chatting about you know what he needed in the art stuff what kind of size he needed um what what woods he liked and then i then just tweaked everything just for him so for instance he because he plays in large venues i carved the top a little bit differently than my other models so um, it's very, very responsive, but it's got some tightness to it, too. So, you know, when you're really amplified, the guitar is controllable. Um, I worked on a lot of extra reinforcements. So that, that whole neck, the dovetail joint, everything's made with hot high glue. Um, and it's carbon fiber reinforced in places that you would never expect, but things that protect the heel of the guitar so the guitar doesn't stretch too much this way and uh headstock support so you know mark's been touring with that guitar for well he got it in uh january of 2000 i believe so that's a long time 22 years that's yeah that is a long time you know the guitar is fresh yeah you know i saw it a minute ago um in, in uh literally five minutes ago we were uh, yeah on, and uh he played some you know played on it and uh you know it, it's a it's a contemporary model yeah i you love know? that i love that version and actually i could show you something else quickly sure of course I, I i've got mark's model and then i've been over the past two years working on a new this, this is just like mark's guitar and now i've been working on these guys which are you know these have european maple and european tops Mark had an Engelman top like this. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they're, they're coming along. These two will be finished up, you know, sometime middle of this year. This is a beautiful piece of European make. Well, the sunlight's pretty strong right now, but that's just a yeah. great, great piece. I can, no, I can see it. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that's how I spend my time. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna spend just a few minutes on this. Um, so how did a nice guy like you get in the guitar building business? Well, uh, I lived in Northern Italy when I was a kid and I loved the local luthier who was a uh, lutaio in Italian. He was a violin and classical guitar maker. And so I used to, you know, I was what, eight years old when it started, but yeah. I would go by his shop after school and that just looked like way too much fun. I mean, really. <laughs> and it just, it just, it stuck and I learned how to woodwork as a kid. Yeah, growing up in Texas has advantages for little kids that you don't get in other parts of the country. Like we all had wood shops mm -hmm. that we could make stuff. And like our dads knew how to make, you know, furniture, fix things. There was a very hands-on approach. Um, and then I started playing guitar, I guess I was like 17. That's, that's what happened. Went on to get a music degree, and then I studied business at uh, Baruch College. I, I did a great program, SBA program there, and I continued with art studies at Cooper Union when I lived in New York City. So I have um, a couple of really good guys here. Um, oh, I bet you have Jimmy to. And, 
Yeah, Jimmy and Alan, but it's a small team. It's three of us. And then my wife, who is super smart and excellent with her hands, she's a trained professional chef. But, you know, at the end of COVID, we started working together and she's helping me with like French polishing and, um, you know, sanding lacquer. And it's, it's great, but things are really working very and then, smoothly. And, then, and there's a pizza oven in the back, you know, if you got to have something. It is like yeah. that. Yeah. We have one. <laughs> I love it. Well, listen, that's it. That's all I yeah. wanted to talk to you about today. I really do appreciate you coming on and and uh, and. I'll show you one more thing. Quickly. Sure, please. Oh, so man. this is the uh, burst that I'm threading. This is the master burst, which is you know the smaller model. It's a. Uh, oh, now you're hurting me. Oh my God, I love these. No, you're. These now are you're... all all shock fit height. What color are you going to put that? This one is interesting. Um, it's gonna be a transparent purple, and then the ivory, grained ivory binding is all gonna be done with like a, a pretty yellow vintage tint. So you get tons of contrast. Uh, yellow is the uh, is the related color, right? Yeah. Or purple, so it'll it'll be very very impressive. Yeah. We're here with Stephen Marchioni with Marchioni Guitars. Thank you for giving us the tour. Thanks about talking about your instruments. And I love the smile on your face. You're happy. You're a happy man. I and love we, being here and, and really appreciate talking to you guys. Doing, and, doing cool stuff. Yeah. Anybody who wants to talk about guitars, I'm always available. Give I, me a call. Yeah. Very okay. cool. Bob <laughs> Baker care. with Stephen Marchioni, Marchioni Guitars. Have a great day, Stephen. Thank you Thanks, so much guys. for joining us today. Okay. Bye bye.